Good morning, folks. Hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving, able to get together with your family and friends. And uh, <clears throat> it was great to see uh, so many families getting together this Thanksgiving after being apart last year. And we have much to be grateful for as a nation. <clears throat> when I was elected, I said I would always be honest with you. So today, I want to take a few moments to talk about the new COVID variant first identified last week in Southern Africa. It's called the Omicron. It is the, uh, and to their credit, the scientific community in South Africa quickly notified the world of the emergence of this new variant. This kind of transparency is to be encouraged and applauded because it increases our ability to respond quickly to any new threats. And that's exactly what we did. The very day the World Health Organization identified the new variant, I took immediate steps to restrict travel from countries in Southern Africa. But while we have that travel restrictions can slow the speed of Omicron, it cannot prevent it. But here's what it does. It gives us time, it gives us time to take more actions, to move quicker, to make sure people understand you have to get your vaccine. You have to get the shot. You have to get the get the booster if you're the sooner or later we're going to see cases of this new variant here in the United States. We'll have to face this new threat just as we face those that come before it. Today, there are three messages about the new variant that I want the American people to hear. First, this variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. We have the best vaccine in the world, <clears throat> the best medicines, the best scientists, and we're learning more every single day. And we'll fight this variant with scientific and, and knowledgeable actions and speed, not chaos and confusion. And we have more tools today to fight the variant than we've ever had before, from vaccines to boosters to vaccines for children, five years and older, and much more. A year ago, America was floundering against the first variant of COVID. We beat that variant significantly, and then we got hit by a far more powerful threat, the Delta variant. But we took action, and now we're seeing deaths from Delta come down. We'll fight the, you know, and look, we're, we're going to fight and beat this new variant as well. We're learning more about this new variant every single day. And as we learn more, we're going to share that information with the American people candidly and promptly. Second, the best protection, I know you're tired of hearing me say this, the best protection against this new variant or any of the, of the variants out there, the, the ones we've been dealing with already, is getting fully vaccinated and getting a booster shot. Most Americans are fully vaccinated, but not yet boosted. If you're 18 years or over and got fully vaccinated before June the 1st, go get the booster shot today. They're free. And they're available at 80,000 locations, coast to coast. A fully vaccinated booster person is the most protected against COVID. Do not wait. Go get your booster if it's time for you to do so. And if you are not vaccinated, now's the time to get vaccinated and take your children to be vaccinated. Every child age five or older can get safe, effective vaccines now. While it will be a few weeks before we know everything we need to know about how strongly the existing vaccines protect against the new variant, Dr. Fauci is with me today on our medical team and uh, believe that the vaccines will continue to provide a degree of protection against severe disease. And as additional protections, please wear your mask when you're indoors, in public settings, around other people. It protects you. It protects those around you. Third, in the event, hopefully unlikely, that updated vaccinations or boosters are needed to respond to this new variant, we will accelerate their development and deployment with every available tool. I want to reiterate, Dr. Fauci believes that the current vaccines provide at least some protection against the new variant, and the boosters strengthen that protection significantly. We do not yet believe that additional measures will be needed. But so that we are prepared, if needed, my team is already working with officials at Pfizer and Bredern and Johnson & Johnson to develop contingency plans for vaccines or boosters if needed. 
And I will also direct the FDA and the CDC to use the fastest process available without cutting any corners for safety to get such vaccines approved and on the market if needed. And we'll do that the same way that any modifications are needed or current treatments need to uh, use to help those with, uh, who get ill with the COVID virus. Look, I'm, uh, I'm sparing no effort and removing all roadblocks to keep the American people safe. All of this is uh, confusing to a lot of people. But if it's confusing to you, let me close with this simple message. If you are vaccinated but still worried about the new variant, get your booster. If you aren't vaccinated, get that shot. Go get that first shot. My team at the White House will provide me with daily updates this week. On Thursday, I'll be putting forward a detailed strategy outlining how we're going to fight COVID this winter, not with shutdowns or lockdowns, but with more widespread vaccinations, boosters, testing, and more. I promised every American that there will be always be the latest vaccines available and the booster shots available to them and for free and everywhere available. Every single American, free of charge, and I will keep that commitment. But we need to do more than vaccinate Americans. To beat the pandemic, we have to vaccinate the world as well. And America is leading that effort. We've shipped for free more vaccines to other countries than all other countries in the world combined. Over 275 million vaccines to 110 countries. Now we need the rest of the world to step up as well. Let me be clear. Not a single vaccine shot Americans ever send to the rest of the world will ever come at the expense of any American. I will always make sure that our people are protected first. But vaccinating the world is just one more tool in how we need to meet our moral obligation as Americans and how to best protect Americans as well. The Delta variants and now the Omicron variant all emerged elsewhere in the world. So we can't let up until the world is vaccinated. We're protecting Americans by doing that as well. As we continue this effort, let's remember where we stand. We're in a very different place as we enter the month of December this month compared to where we were last, uh, last, September, last Christmas. Last Christmas, fewer than 1% of American adults were vaccinated. This Christmas, the number will be over 71% including more than 86% of seniors. Last Christmas, our children were at risk without a vaccine. This Christmas, we have safe and effective vaccines for children ages five and older, with more than 19 million children and counting now vaccinated. Last year, a majority of schools were closed. This year, 99% of our schools are open. Let me reiterate once more. We also now have booster shots that provide extra protection. They're free and convenient. There is still time to get your first two shots or your booster shot or get your children vaccinated before Christmas. All three are available and can be done before Christmas. If you and your family are fully vaccinated, you can celebrate the holidays much more safely. And given where we were last year, that's a blessing that none of us should take for granted. We're throwing everything we can at this virus, tracking it from every angle, and that's what we have to keep doing. That's how we reopen our country. That's how we reopen our businesses. That's how we reopen our schools. That's how, even with the pandemic, we've generated a record job creation, a record economic growth in this country. We've moved forward in the face of COVID-19. We have moved forward in the face of the Delta variant. And we move forward now in the face of the Omicron variant as well. So thank you, and God bless our troops. And I hope you all have, I'll be speaking before them, but a Merry Christmas as we approach it.